How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, um, the reason why I'm putting up this video is going to speak volumes to the royal family and how they get down in this, in this system. Um, and I was speaking on it um, today when I did my live stream. Now, the events that occurred was a few years ago. And this is our royal son, and his name is Carlos Twan. All right? Keep him on your Frodo low. All right? Okay. Another player. This is uh, Atlanta City Councilwoman Mary Norwood. And what I'm going to present will not surprise you, but what I love to do is when you can capture a moment. I, and how I found out about all this, I just was, you know, browsing, looking around for videos. And I was like, this is deep. Let me look into it. And you talking about bingo? I'm, I'm going to deliver on this because this it's, um, it ain't necessarily like a bunch of twists and turns, but it's just confirming um, the enemy's true nature. Also, it shows um, how when we get caught up in the system, how they go full throttle because I keep saying the ultimate goal is to damage you even if you are not guilty. You could be telling the gospel truth. They want to damage you because they fully understand my royal family. They in a war. And we have some of our folks too damn lacks a days ago. Too damn. All right. And this also captures that I said the enemy's woman would be the first. And we know the origins of all these isms in America, let alone wherever the beast is on this earth. Because um, they show bring a lot of destruction. And you see the disease, you know, it's atrocious what's going on in America. So I'm gonna take the royal family on this journey. I do have something I'm gonna read. This is a long video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna request some things of the royal family. And please be as authentic as you can be. I often say that I do videos on pure emotion. I feel like I can deliver the best because I sometimes connect with some of the material that I put out. And then I try my best to speak honest to the royal family at what I feel at a particular time. Because like this coronavirus, we've been knowing the plagues was going to be coming, but we it didn't kick into our conscious. How would it be feel to live in that space and time? So this first video, just allow yourself to be honest with your feelings about how you felt how this go down, all right? This teenager was acquitted on charges of carjacking two women in one day. He's headed to jail on charges from another crime. A Fulton County judge sentenced Carlos Twine to 18 months in jail after police say he was found driving a U-Haul with stolen guns and checkbooks inside. Now, Fox News' Anjali Proctor was in court for today's hearing, and Twine's family asking the judge for leniency since he was just found not guilty of those carjackings. That's right, Sine. They asked for leniency and mercy. They say this young man really hadn't been in trouble until about a year ago. That's when they say he started hanging with the wrong crowd. 
Last week, a Fulton County jury exonerated Carlos Twine of two high-profile carjackings in Buckhead this summer. But the Atlanta teen found himself back in front of a judge in a blue jumpsuit and handcuffs. This time, it was to plead guilty to two unrelated crimes, fleeing and eluding a state trooper earlier this year and driving a U-Haul truck that had two stolen guns, three stolen checkbooks, and a stolen cell phone inside. His family believes the system punished him harder for these crimes because he was found not guilty on the carjackings. They did not do an investigation on the case. We tried to give them information, steer them in another direction. They didn't want to hear it, you know. That case was not worth trying with the evidence we had, and Paul Howard knew that. The Twines asked the judge to show mercy on the teen who family members say was a good kid who graduated high school early but started hanging with the wrong crowd and got off track. I'm going to come before you and just ask you for a second chance um, for him to start over. Um, was a really great kid. Judge Doris Downs showed mercy and sentenced the teen under first offender status to five years, 18 months in prison and three and a half years probation. She too went back to the Buckhead carjackings and seemed frustrated with police and prosecutors. And there were some real problems with the police work, extreme problems with the police work. The identifications, there were problems with the identifications. Procedures were not followed. Tips weren't followed up on. Judge seemed very frustrated. The Twine family actually left here a little disappointed themselves. They had hoped he would get probation only. Reporting live in... Now, you catch that, my royal family? And you're going to see it in just a bit. Now think about this. He has two pending cases in the same courthouse. Let's look at our royal son for a bit. Oops, not this thing yet. Um, oh yeah, I got that too. Oh yeah, I got a lot to bring up. So, um, back to what they allege that he did. Um, and you see in the judge because you don't normally see a judge show emotions, you know. You don't. Because the way they set their system up, they know how everything supposed to go, like a domino effect. Make sure you line it all up, and we in motion, you know. They in theater, you know. And when a glitch is put in there, they actually felt that. And they was in utter shock that our royal son was found not guilty. But when he went over to the next courtroom, trust and believe, who I'm about to um, expose, made damn sure she got up in the judge's ear and she said, throw the book at that nigga. First time offender. He allegedly carjacked two cars and you get five years? Shit, Amber Geiger killed our royal son, Botham. And basically, she got zero years. But I think they said, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was five years, ten years, or whatever the fuck they said. I think it was five. But we know she gonna walk soon. You know, they've been putting an appeals out. That's how lopsided late Lady Justice continue to be in this dying ass system. The bitch is filthy. I keep telling y'all, y'all look up Lady Liberty's dress. You don't know what subject to roll up out of her dusty panty drawers. And um, the enemy's woman is really showing out. So, something I want to point out before I get into this next video. So I was able to pull up some things on our royal son. Um, Carlos and I'm just scrolling up and this is what I want to show y'all let me see right yeah right here I'm purposely leaving it like that so this is what they, they charged him with all of this stuff one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me see. 
um, 10. All right. And you see what they have here. Not guilty, not guilty. You see it right there. Okay. I was saying it, it's so ironic that I ran up on this because I was saying when they get an opportunity with us, they'll throw the whole damn book in our face and they want something to stick. You know, they overcharge, but everybody is working unison in the courthouse. They already know your fate and how it's going to go down to, um, to some extent, you know, but they think they are gods too. And um, I can see the spiritual aspect in this. And I'll point that spiritual part out um, in a bit because it's a message that is being given to the royal family. So this next one, um, you will truly feel this. Just make sure I get it all the way. There we go. First, take a look at this teenager here. He was tried for allegedly carjacking two people in just one day. Police say Carlos Swine carjacked a grandmother at Lenox Square and a mother outside the OK Cafe in Buckhead. But despite eyewitness testimony and fingerprint evidence, the jury found him not guilty. And now many in the community are outraged. Fox News' Anjali Proctor talked to an Atlanta City Councilwoman who will meet with the victims tomorrow and joins us now. Anjali? You know, we reported on these very high-profile carjackings extensively back in June when they happened. Now these two victims are just stunned at these not guilty verdicts. But Atlanta Councilwoman has decided she will get to the bottom of it. Please don't shoot them. That's all I can think of. Buckhead grandmother Anita Thomas stared at the barrel of a gun as she told her granddaughters to run for their lives. The 70-year-old told me back in June how terrified she was during the much-talked-about carjacking in the Neiman Marcus parking lot at Lenox Square Mall. Last Friday, a major blow for Thomas and a second carjack victim in the OK Cafe parking lot that same day started demanding the keys, you know, said, I'll shoot you, I'll kill you. The jury let the teen that police said threatened both women at gunpoint walk free. The Fulton County jury found Carlos Twine not guilty on all 13 counts. The victims too shaken to talk about the devastating outcome for them. They have turned to Councilwoman Mary Norwood, who wants answers. The idea that we would have victims go through months and months of trial preparation, and then at the end of the day, there was some fault in the system, and this person is completely exonerated of all charges. Both Mrs. Thomas and the mother of a two-year-old who wanted to protect her identity Pick Twine in a lineup, but the teen's attorney insisted police had the wrong man. I do want a complete briefing on every single key aspect of this case. Now, Councilwoman Norwood says she is not letting this go. She talked to District Attorney Paul Howard this morning. She's still waiting for an extensive report from his office, as well as the new police chief, Erica Shields. She wants everyone to be accountable for this verdict. Reporting live from Northeast. Now, ain't that something, my royal family? Um, these people have a lot of work to do, okay? And she personally going to overstep um oops she gonna personally overstep um because she don't like how that went down you know and i wonder with her overstepping um wh how broad can she um operate in the position um that she is in you know because they have a thing called gentleman's agreement she may be able to reach very far but you know ultimately the judge has, um, well, no, they had they had the jury, but the judge do can have a say too as well. Don't get me wrong with that, but the jurors said he was not guilty. They said the case was absolutely sloppy, and a lot of their cases are absolutely sloppy. They just trying to cattle us in, and then, you know, in America, how I look at the crime he did 
is itsy bitsy because we running from bullets all day, you know, and then they then they throw up in our face. Well, two wrongs don't make a right. Well, you just admitted that your people are wrong and you know it. But you want to hold us to the fire if we stole a damn toothpick in the fucking world going to end. You know, it's something else. So before I um get into the next video, I have um two more to play y'all. I'm going to read this article so you can get more details. An Atlantic City councilwoman wants to find out why a man accused of two carjackings in Buckhead in June was acquitted um, um, despite eyewitness testimony and evidence that put him at the scene. He a man. He 18. This is a child. He don't even look, he don't even look his age. Did you hear what they were saying that he finished high school early? Yeah, you know, that can happen to kids. They get, you know, caught up. Um, he's, he's quite studious and, you know, sometimes you get that negative peer pressure, whatever that was going on. But how I look at it, we go through phases in life and our teenagers go through phases and we want to keep them safe, safe and well. Um, and sometimes they have to have an experience you know, because sometimes they don't listen to adults. But I'm not over here on this channel going to demonstrate to the enemy and their supporters when one of us allegedly did something, pay attention to my language, I'm going to do exactly what the enemy do. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it to the 10th power. I'm going to be highly dysfunctional when it comes to the royal family. You know, I, if I was there to see it, I didn't see it. See, you got to get up in the psyche, my royal family, and use the art of war. As we continue on, councilwoman, oh, this is what she did. Okay, she posts, po um, posts two at large. Okay, oh yeah, two at large. Councilwoman Mary Norwood, who lives in Buckhead, but represents the entire city, says she is trying to get <clears throat> More information on what happened in the case of Carlos Twin, Twan, excuse me, Twan, who was arrested hours after two car jacks, jackings in Buckhead took place when police tracked down one of the stolen vehicles. Twan was accused of armed robbery, robbery and aggravated assault of Anita Thomas and her two um, granddaughters. Okay, la 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 la. Okay, let's get to the juicy part. Okay, I'm skipping a little bit of it. it. Ain't necessary. He was charged with two counts of armed robbery, three counts of aggravated assault. Um, Twan, who has been arrested previously for various crimes, was acquitted on the charges December 9th. Oh, and forgive me, that was back in um, 2016. Okay. Why did the prosecution prosecute the case if there was a if there was a flaw to the point where it should have gone to trial? Norwood um, said, "I don't have an answer to that yet." Oh, 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 oh! Forgive me. I'll say it in just a bit. And let me finish because I messed up on one little thing. All right, uh, let's see. Let's get back here. Um, so she said it should have went to trial, all right? So the judge, that it just hit me. I'm going to keep it core with y'all. The judge decided his fate. But then when they sent him over there to that Becky, you know, that bitch right here, she going to make damn sure because she hell bent. Um on making sure he is damaged. You know, she's, she probably was in the courtroom. That's the shit that Kimberly used to do. Love seeing a black man get um, sentenced and shackled down like a dog. Anyhow, um, Nora said she had talked, um, has talked to one of the victims and other people involved in the case, but the district attorney office, Norwood, 
who sit on the count, um, council public safety committee um, through the through the end of the year, she said she also planned to talk to the prosecutor handling the, um, the case and the police. I specifically want to talk to the prosecutor in the case, she said, was um, everyone um, appraisal of all of the um, appraisal? Why did she? Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's a typo. Of all the information at the appropriate time. I don't know that. I will investigate this. I want a complete briefing and a complete understanding. And I don't, and I don't have that today. Now she's demanding like she the damn DA now. You know, she going to investigate this shit. And she's demanding a complete everything. The judge said it wasn't nothing fucking there. It, it was done so sloppy. You know? See, when they system, when they uh, system don't work in their favor, then it's a, um, a issue. She also said um, the residents who attend the trial have said they were disappointed with the verdict. They said despite a video and fingerprint evidence and witness witnesses identifying the suspect, the jury cite insufficient um, evidence as the reason for the, acqui um, the acquittal. Um, the acquittal of um, Twan. You know I screwed that up again, my royal family. Big time. And you know what? You know I don't edit nothing or anything. But I'm, what I'm what I'm what I'm going to point out right now, y'all know that I'm dyslexic. And right now it's bothering me. And um, sometimes I have some gaps there. So I appreciate y'all putting up with this. He did have a jury trial. All right. The the uh, um I'll just leave it right there. So um now let's get into um something quite deep um that will shock the hell out of you. Well, not shock the hell out of you. No, 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 no. No, 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 it's not. We're going to get into exposing her ass, you know, for her isms. And it'll speak for itself since you want to put somebody on the auction block. Political sources sent Channel 2 Action News a recording in it. Mayoral candidate Mary Norwood appears to say that she asked the Republican Party to call her an independent so she could win elections. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston live in Midtown Atlanta with a deeper dive on this. Dave, she does not deny it's her voice on the recording, but there's more. No, no, she doesn't deny it at all, but she says that audio recording is edited and sliced together to make her say something that's not true. So I called up the Republican Party and asked if they would appoint me as an independent. Political sources sent me this audio tape where it appears Atlanta mayoral candidate Mary Norwood asked Republican leaders to classify her as an independent when she's really a member of the GOP. The thing is, Atlanta, the city of Atlanta, is 8% Republican and 80% Democrat. Okay. So the Republican Party is so you can't win if you are a Republican label. The audio tape comes out a week before the election, and while Norwood has captured some key endorsements, Monday, former mayor Shirley Franklin, along with former mayoral candidate Peter Amon, and Tuesday, we strongly back Mary. Mary Several Norwood. unions, including Mary Atlanta Mary. firefighters, police officers, the city workers union, AFSCME, and former Fulton County chairman and former mayoral candidate John Eves. She embodies the spirit of integrity that I think is lacking in leadership today. All stood up at City Hall and endorsed Norwood for mayor. As for that audio tape, we wanted to play it for Norwood. No! She didn't want to hear it, saying she knows it's been inaccurately edited. She did email me this document that shows since 1996 she's voted for Republicans and Democrats, leaning more towards the Democrats. She said the audio is a fake. What I said Damn. that night was that I am an independent. I've always been an independent. I ran as an independent. And I would do nothing to hurt that independent status because that's who I am. 
And Nora Woods uh, says she wants voters to look at her two decades of work instead of what Democrats or what others want you to think about her. We reached out to her opponent, Keisha Lance Bottoms, to get her reaction to this. We're still waiting to get that response. Reporting live from Midtown, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News. Okay, I got to stop this for just a second, my royal family. Um, that's Trump's sister. That's Trump's sister, straight up. <laughs> Woman is so full of shit. But I, I caught something that I have to acknowledge. Channel 2 Action News. Armor and political Oops. sources sent to Channel 2 Action News a recording. In, in fact, I'm going to take the volume down on this for just a second so I can show y'all what I just seen. Some of y'all probably already caught it, too. Let's see here. Okay. Give me just a second. Might have to go back a little bit further. Okay, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh, thank you, Father. Oops, I just seen it. See if I can catch it here and hit it. Okay, to my right hand, way down to the bottom, you see where they have the, they show the temperature and the time. There's that number. There's that number. You see it, my royal family? The number 17. That's the creator. Now check this out. Now look. Look at the very bottom. It says Midtown Atlanta, 17th Street. Our father said that I would always see the number 17 again and again. 17 means in the word overcoming the enemy in a complete victory see that's what's going that that that's what's happening to them as i speak so now let's keep rolling with it and we're gonna really get a close-up shot on this now the audio a little janky but i was looking at homegirl she looked like she'd be sucking on the bottle real hard just a um slightly over a minute check her out Oops, I didn't lost the damn sound. Excuse me. It is the law that Let's start I back over. Authority and ability to ask for a recount. Girl, you drunk as a skunk. We about to drag you. Okay, here we go, my royal family. We are within 1%, and assuming that the count today didn't change that. It is the law that I have the authority and ability to ask for a recount. With, again, with such a close election, it is absolutely imperative that we take a look at every single ballot, absentee, mail-in, uh, provisionals. Uh, it is imperative for all of the people that voted for Mary Norwood to be their mayor. Mary, what about the testimony today that this wouldn't actually be a true recount, rather a recant is based on the voting machines and how they work? We are we are asking for a recount, not a recantus. We want to know, we want to review every single vote. We want to review every single issue. Um, I think that is exactly what I need to do for the citizens of Atlanta. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. She about to go. She about to, she about to go get her drink on. That's what she about to go do. Boy, them Republicans are something else with these recounts and all that, all that type of shit. You know, she was up in her feelings because she, uh, she lost to Lance Bottoms. Uh huh. Show sure did. She didn't like the way that shit felt. You know, ruthless, ruthless. You know, um, I had to throw that in, and then she's speaking with that old coded language. You know, saying it is predominantly black. You know, that's what they worried about. They, you know. What I was picking up is um, um, what I was picking up is the concern that they have. They're seeing their um, kingdom literally fall before their eyes. And, you know, this woman has to do a lot of work. And she hell bent on um, she hell bent on um, trying to get um, our royal son um I mean, when you talk about thrown under the bus, I said, these people is something else with they shit. They get, you know, they are something else. I want to make sure I got one more thing to check. I want to make sure I don't. 
I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Let me see something here. I think I got it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them women, the judge and all of them, they was looking haggard and concerned. They're like, oh, my system ain't working. Oh, what the hell's going on? We will continue to see these things. Like I said, my royal family, um, since we have came up out of our captivity, and I know that's a gradual process, there are some things that I have been seeing um, that's affecting the enemy's immediate situation. It is quite obvious. Like I said, I'll close my eyes and listen to their voice and listen to the inflections, and I can hear the fear. They are quite fearful. But... You know, what's, what's deep to me, they got to deal with layers of shit that they have created, but they always have time to make damn sure, damn sure that they stay in our affairs. You know, she going to make it with her dusty ass. She going to make it her business. She's demanding. She wants to talk to the prosecutor. She wants to talk to the cops. You know, you know, what the fuck wrong with y'all? This little nigga is supposed to be locked up forever and ever. You know, they, they, they gave him five years like it wasn't nothing. And he's a first time offender. And, you know, the enemy can kill us outright. We we can all see it. And they'll tell us that didn't occur like that. And we know what we see him with our own eye. They always insulting our intelligence. And they didn't play this game so long. They don't know nothing else other to do because this is part of their true nature and we have some people that look like you and I get up all on the enemy you know don't embrace your true gifts gifts act weak will because you want to stay in favor they're going to get tired of looking at you and this is a message to the coons but let's get into the spiritual real quick so because I touched on it slightly so spiritually what I had observed and how I was feeling that uh, over time, because we're moving forth, we're going to keep seeing stuff like this. You know, we're going to, you're going to, you know, they're going to pull a gun and be squeezing the trigger and the bullets don't even come out, you know. And that frightens them when they don't have a layer, layers of protection. You see how elaborate they set up these courts. You know, they already know what needs to be done. And then when it's slightly out of order and it is working in our favor, then there's a drastic problem. Now the whole damn world will end. So I support our royal son. We've all, you know, had our moments when we were foolish, you know. And as far as I can see at this point, um, he is not guilty. You know, he's been affected by the system, too. We are quite wounded. We are prisoners of war. And, you know, when you cage people, even though we're not animals, we don't, we don't know what we may do. I can't make you no guarantees, you know, because I'm deeply affected. I see this shit damn near every day. And in doing these videos, it is quite painful, my royal family. Sometimes I really do need to check out. Like I say, every millisecond. Every millisecond, somebody always messing with us. So, my royal family, I thank you. Because um, that f first part I was doing, I was kind of, I was on that dyslexic stuff. It, it, that sucker, she was kicking in. So, I thank y'all for your patience. So, anyway, um, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. And I thank you for your support. And with that said... Uh, Shay.